Hey everybody! Uh, sorry this isn't the Serpentius redesign video, or the Laguna redesign video, or <laughs> more miraculous redesign videos. I am still currently at my mother's right now, <laughs> which was not the plan. Uh, I've been trying to get my car inspected, and for those of you who have a car, or you know, understand car logic, uh, I have to have that little blue sticker on my car to drive around and not get pulled over, you know, shit like that. Anyway, I originally took my car to get inspected, only to find out that there was something wrong with the engine. So I took it to the shop, got it fixed, came back, and they told me that it didn't pass inspection, not because of the engine, but because of some system issues. They told me to drive it around. I've driven about a hundred miles and I came back and they were like, yeah, it still hasn't passed. So you need to drive more. And so a good chunk of my time is driving and normally my redesign videos take about a full week. So for this week, you guys are getting a Q and A video. It's the easiest thing I can do. Not exactly what I planned, obviously, which is why you guys got a full view of what Serpentius looks like, though the video might have him look a little bit different, so please do come back and watch the video. But anyway, that's pretty much what's going on. Anyway, for today's drawing, I will be doing Cal's Doodles 1K Draw This In Your Style. They drew Angel Dust, and I really like the outfit, so I decided, why not? <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's get into the questions. Question one. I've got two, if that's okay. It's more than fine. You guys can ask me as many questions as you want. I'm down. One, are you afraid of hater messages when you confront the designs of Vivzy Pop in the redesign videos? I'm pretty sure you get some hate comments, don't you? Uh, fun fact, I don't really get very many hate comments and I wouldn't really classify them as hate comments. They're more just like nitpicks towards me. But I have had a few, I guess I would consider hate comments. And no, they don't really make me afraid. They mostly just make me irritated. <laughs> Cause one, it's clear they didn't actually pay attention to the video because a good chunk of what they said, I already explained. Or it's just, you know, they're basically saying, you complain too much, da 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 da, it's not your show, da 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 da. Vivzy's a queen, da 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 da. And I'm like, that's fine if you believe all of that, but you can't get mad at me just because I voiced my opinion. So that's on you. Second question, what are you using for your drawings? I put it in all my videos and I understand reading the description isn't like everyone's favorite thing in the world, but uh, the, the programs that I use are Animate, which is just basically a new name for Flash. But let me say this now, uh, for anyone who ever asked me this question again, the program that I use will always be in my description. So, um, question two. What is your favorite TV show from Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and Disney Channel? Uh, Cartoon Network, I guess Craig of the Creek. There's nothing really on Cartoon Network anymore other than like Teen Titans Go and uh, I think reruns of Amazing World of Gumball, but I think the only show that's like still going and keeping me interested is Craig of the Creek. Um, Nickelodeon, I don't actually watch Nickelodeon, so I don't really have a favorite TV show from there. Uh, Disney Channel, if you had asked me this question uh, like a few months ago, I would have said The Owl House, but now I'm completely disappointed with everything that's happened. I would go into further detail about why I'm disappointed, but we'd be here all day. Uh, I don't know. There might, I have to really think for the Disney Channel one, because they have like a sea of shows. And I know I watch a good chunk of them, but I can never remember the names. What's your favorite redesign you've made? I think my absolute favorite out of everybody would probably be Snapdragon. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I went overboard or it's because I really enjoy Snapdragon and I've kind of been secretly using all the High Guardian Spice characters in my D&D &D campaign on the weekends with my friends. And Snapdragon has turned into this like really cool character I've been playing. I think they're probably my favorite. What's the show slash movie you like but everyone else hates? I really love um, the Dark Crystal, both movie and show. I'm not entirely sure if people hate it. It's more of a people don't actually know about it or watch it, but the entire franchise and the, the world building and, and the dedication of using puppets 
is just amazing. I understand that like the sh- the movies and the show are kind of really dark, but the I don't know. It's it's the high fantasy that I crave, and it I find it, and it's just so pretty. Like I know the colors are very muted and stuff, but like I could get lost for hours looking at the backgrounds and looking at the character designs. Like I that's probably my all time favorite, like franchise in general. Uh, question number two: If you could totally redesign all the main characters for one show, what would it be? Well. I'm already technically doing it, so has been hotel. I would that would probably be the sh- the one for me to totally redesign, mostly because I really enjoy the premise and the idea of the show. I feel like the designs are lacking in the demonic part, but also in just general color. Like I really don't care if the designs themselves don't change. It's more of the color and outfit choices that bother me. So yeah, that I feel like that's the one show that I would love to just like put my hand in, and I technically have with all my redesigns that I've done. <laughs> uh, question number three: Something I never see anyone talk about. Do you have any problems with the miraculous, like the jewelry? Would you re- redesign any of them? Yes, I have a few problems with the lower level. Miraculouses. Uh, the bee one I've talked about. I don't like that it's shaped like a bee. I do like that it is a comb, which is really cute because of like honeycomb, da, 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 you know. But the fact that it's shaped like a full-blown bee is just like really. I think the peacock miraculous is also a little too on the nose. Also, it's kind of ugly the way that it's like shaped and how small it is. Uh, I th- the goat miraculous is also just like the bee. It's too obvious. I don't like it. Um, I know there's another one that's like really stupid. The tiger miraculous. It's not obvious, which is fine. It's just like the fact that it's one of those like fist ring things. Seriously, those things are so stupid. Uh, I remember when they were popular. And I hated them so much. Uh, I don't know what I would change them to, but like you know, if if I if I was in a room with the the miraculous design people, then you know I would we would all bounce off ideas. But what they've picked for a few of them, I really think are kind of like too on the nose, and then some are just like ridiculous. <laughs> question five: Always appreciate your community interaction. I know it's not a question. But I actually really do enjoy talking to you guys. Every time you guys comment on my videos, I do read all of them. Like I go out of my way to read all of them, and some of them where you guys make good points or ask like really interesting questions, I get super excited and I just feel the need to answer them. You know, my even though I have my roommate, we don't watch the same things and we don't like the same things. So when I talk to you guys, it feels like I'm talking to like a big group of friends. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, onto the question.、Uh, you seem to be quite knowledgeable on character dress. Where did you first discover this passion for fashion? Um, I it's gonna sound petty, but I didn't really get into fashion until、uh, I think my junior year of high school, and it had to do with the fact that. Of an ex friend of mine, and trust me when I say this, like it is petty. But at the time, I was a teenager, and she basically was like my most toxic best friend. Well, my second most toxic best friend. But you know, she really screwed me over. But in the yearbook, she had won like most fashionable. You know, I have this weird competitive streak, and it comes out in the weirdest ways. But in my mind, I thought it was a good idea to take that title away from her for our junior year, and I even won it in our senior year too. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna let her win. <laughs> But that's when my need for fashion kicked in, and I experimented with all types of fashion. You know, I was getting really into it, and it pretty much just launched me into learning so much about fashion, and not just like corporate fashion, but also couture fashion, custom fashion. You know, I, I even started watching like the gala stuff and red carpet looks. I basically dove headfirst into the rabbit hole of fashion, and I'm honestly thankful for it because it has really helped my work grow and develop over time. Second part of the question: How long would you spend reference hunting? Largest reference folder you've collected? My reference hunting doesn't stop until I am fully content with the sketch and colors, because I even reference colors. 
So however long the sketching process takes is however long I spend reference hunting because it's back and forth all the time. I think my largest reference folder might be for my uh, animatic. And I know that's technically not like a redesign folder or anything, but like I had so much in there because I really needed as many references as I could for what I was about to do. <laughs> Uh, so third part of the question, any future slash personal projects? Would love to see more of your work. Uh, I do have my own personal projects. They are still in development, obviously, but I think at some point when my schedule is finally where I want it to be and I have a good flow going, <laughs> I will introduce each character from a project that I am currently working on. Uh, question number six. Do you have any world building lore slash lore gripes with the Hellverse you would like to share? How would you fix them if so? What are your favorite designs in media? Um, if we're going off Hell of a Boss and Hasbun Hotel, uh, I think my only lore issue is Stolas' father, Paimon. Now, here's the thing. Paimon and Stolas are their own separate demons. I understand that Paimon is higher in the hierarchy compared to Solus, so it could be possible for him to be his father. However, I personally just don't like the idea of that, considering the fact that I prefer that each of these demons are their own separate entity. Plus, you could make the joke of the overlapping, because a lot of demons do share the same style of power, or they share the same, like, domain style, you know. It's just, I think that's the only thing I have an issue with. Other than all the birds, I guess? Because, like, it made sense for Stolas to be a bird. But then when you look at Osmodius, my favorite design in media... Ah, oh, that's hard. That's a hard one. I don't think I have, like, a number one favorite. I have, like, a multitudes of favorites. Um, but I think my favorite designs in general would be, like, a weird tie between the design style would be the Spider-Verse, the, the Miles Morales one, not the live action one, uh, and Arcane. Those are the two styles, show styles, I really think are my top favorites. Yeah, yeah. Uh, question number seven. Would you change anything re regarding the Hell of a Boss storyline? Same with Has Been Hotel. Um, okay, for Hell of a Boss, the storyline I would make a little bit longer because we're kind of speed running through everything. I enjoy a good slow pace, like not snail slow, just like slow enough to where we can really enjoy what we're watching and get introduced to every character. We still haven't really had a Millie centric episode or a Luna centric episode because the last time I thought we were gonna have an episode all about Millie, because we went to her home, but no, it was all about Moxie, so... Psh. Yeah, for has -Been Hotel, I would make Angel Dust the main character, not Charlie. Uh, how do you come up with ideas for the redesigns of characters? Um, I mostly just read their wiki and, you know, deep dive into what they were referenced to be, what they you know, were inspired by, you know, stuff like that. I, all my ideas come from the original creator. I basically just get the ideas from them and then just rework it into a way that makes sense for me and for you guys. That's pretty much it, you know. Question eight. I can't wait to hear more about your original projects. They sound so interesting. <laughs> my question is, what is your favorite and least favorite Hell of a Boss ships, if you're comfortable answering? I think my favorite, and it's not canon or anything, I think my favorite would be Sally Mae and Verasica, or Verasica and Wacky Wally. I think those two are my favorites. I, I enjoy those the most. Uh, my least favorite, I don't know. I think my least favorite would probably be Moxie and Millie, mostly due to the fact that they're really boring. You know, they're like, super lovey-dovey, super into each other, and da-da-da-da. And that's fine. I don't mind that. It's just, like, I enjoy couples who have a bit more depth depth to them, if that makes sense. Uh, question number nine. First of all, love your art. Thank you. Uh, you are one of my inspirations. 
My question is, how did you come up with your channel name? Here's a super fun fact. My last name is actually Love. <laughs> and so, you know, at school we were told to make business cards and we were told to have our, you know, our, our real name, but also like our business name, I guess you could say, or our art name or whatever. And, you know, I had a few, I had my friends making like really cool stamp designs or like logo designs and I'm sitting there like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what, what to do at all. I'm so art blocked right now, it's not even funny. But then, you know, I was making a few jokes about, you know, my logo and I, I, my friend was like, you should use your last name, it's so unique and no one will ever be able to tell, da 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 da. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I originally came up with the joke that I'm Brittany Love and I love art and it just turned into this, I loves art. <laughs> it, it originally was just, I loves art. <laughs> but then, you know, I was like, no, that's, that's kind of silly. Let me just cut that, that part out and just do the loves art part. So that's where it comes from. It's, it's pretty much just a joke name. <laughs> Question number 10, I think. I already read. Uh, a good chunk of this. It's mostly about the Art Institute, and I agree with you 100%. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows when it came to upper class students as well, though I remember the game developer students being much nicer to me than the actual animation students. I don't exactly have a question that has no doubt been asked, but I would like to know, one, if you wanted to, would you do a OC AMV, and I mean full-blown animation, True, it'd be time consuming, but if you had the drive to actually do it, would you? Yes, if I had the drive, I would actually do it, but I do not. <laughs> I have the brain of a squirrel. I tend to just pick something up, drop it, and walk away, and then come back and pick it up again, and it, it would take way longer than the normal person would be able to do. Part two, better question if the first one wasn't for you. With just the knowledge you know of the animation process, do you think anything can be animated if it's stupidly complex to draw and such? Example, you draw a character with many assets that are to their design and many more characters with details that would increase the difficulty. Can it be done? I believe it can be done. Yes, it will be time consuming. Yes, it will be a lot of hard work. Yes, it will be more money. However, it can be done. Like, I understand that, you know, animation is hard. I get that. We should strive to do bigger and better things, you know? Like, I do enjoy, you know, the lowbrow animation style. I think there's a good simplicity about it. However, however, we don't always want to be known as the lesser version of animation, where, whereas anime still has very complicated styles and they still can get it done, you know? Like, we can do that. I know we're trained to believe that we can't, but we can. Arcane has proven that, yes, it's in 3D, but it also has 2D layered on top of it. Like, these are things we can do. And I want you guys to truly believe that it can be done. And just go for it. Like, I don't think you have to stop doing what you want to do just because studios are too scared to try something new and big, you know? That was a lot, sorry. Uh, question 11. Hey there, big fan, here's my question. I remember you saying in one of your videos that you were making your addict animatic with your gender bends. So I want to ask, have you ever finished it? And if so, could you show me the link to it? I don't remember if I ever announced this here. However, the gender bent addict is scrapped. It's not happening. I don't think I'm ever gonna pick it back up. It's the main reason why I stopped doing the gender bent stuff to begin with. I had too much to do and, and I couldn't keep up with what I wanted to do and I couldn't keep up with everybody asking about it and I couldn't, I couldn't enjoy it anymore. And I really can't even look at it without being like immediately sick. So I'm sorry to say this, but there will no, there will never probably be an addict animatic by me. You guys are more than welcome to do it if you want, but I won't be affiliated with it. I'm sorry, I just can't. Question 12. Hi, do you think the writing in Has Been and Hell of a Boss need better writing, especially world building characters, story, and main plot? Um, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, most shows could benefit from better writing in general. Like, not everything is 100% the best thing in the entire world. I understand that. However, I do enjoy the jokes. I think whoever is coming up with jokes and the music, perfect. You don't, no notes. Nobody needs to even talk to them. They're doing great. I think uh, character story-wise needs a little bit more work. Um, world building, maybe a bit more work. I think what we have right now is really good. I think the world building in Hell of a Boss is really good. I don't think that needs any help, but I think uh, Has Been Hotel's world building needs a little more help sprinkled into it, you know? Uh, story and main plot in general, as I said before in the previous question, I think Hell of a Boss needs to be stretched out a little bit. It's going way too fast. Two, do you think Marinette is creepy and obsessed towards Adrian? Yes. Do you think Adrian should find a different person to be with? Not exactly. I understand that Marinette is creepy and kind of obsessive towards Adrian, and, and, I, and it's wrong for her to be like that, obviously, but she's still a kid at the end of the day. We need to remember that. However, I think uh, it would have worked better if her friends didn't enable her so much, if they actually did say something like, hey, you're being kind of creepy, stop it, or if maybe... Uh, Adrian actually paid attention to the fact that she's kind of creepy because sometimes he just ignores it <laughs> and I'm like are you okay <laughs> I still think they weirdly work for each other if the writing was better and both characters had the ability to grow and also recognize the weird things that they do then yeah I think in the end they would be pretty good together but as of right now, I don't think they should date. I think when they're a little bit older and get over their weird obsessions that they have, then yeah, that's when they should be together. <laughs> Sorry if the numbers are off. I kind of lost count. Anyway, that's all the questions I have time for. If you guys have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them in the next Q&A. But anyway, here's hoping that I will finally get my car inspected and I can officially go home <laughs> and actually get back to work on all the redesigns that I have planned. Anyway, Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Uh, I hope you all have a super fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.